Hey guys, if you're planning to root your Samsung phone or want to install a custom ROM, then unlocking the bootloader is the very first step. And in this video, I'll show you how to unlock the bootloader on any Samsung device without using a PC. But before we begin, there's something important you should know. Unlocking the bootloader will erase all data on your phone and it will permanently trip Knox. That means features like Samsung Pay and Secure Folder will stop working forever. Even if you re-lock the bootloader later, those apps won't work again. Also, once the bootloader is unlocked, your device will no longer receive OTA updates. You'll need to manually install software updates going forward. But if you still want to use apps like Samsung Pay or Secure Folder, after unlocking, check out the video linked in the description for a possible workaround. Now make sure to back up everything important and let's get started. Alright, for this video, I'm using a Samsung Galaxy A52s, but don't worry, the process is the same for almost all Samsung devices, whether you're on Android 13, Android 14, or even Android 15. The first step is to enable developer options. To do this, tap on build number 7 times under software information, until you see the message, developer mode has been enabled. Once developer option is enabled, go back to your main settings and you'll now see developer options at the bottom. Now here's the most important setting, OEM unlocking. Make sure to turn it on. If you're in the United States or Canada, there's a chance you won't see this option. That's because OEM unlocking is blocked by some carriers in those regions. And unfortunately, there's no official way around that. Once OEM is enabled, just below that, also enable USB debugging. This allows our Samsung device to communicate with a, another device. Once both options are enabled, go back to settings and remove your Samsung account and Google account. This is important to prevent FRP, factory reset protection, from locking your device later. Also remove any pin, pattern or password from the lock screen. This isn't mandatory, but it helps avoid potential issues during the bootloader unlock process. Now it's time to connect our Samsung device to another device. Alright, I just connected my Samsung S23 using a Type-C to Type-C cable. But you can use any Android phone that supports USB OTG. It doesn't have to be a Samsung. The important thing is that your main Samsung device shows a charging indicator when connected. That confirms the connection is working properly. Once you see the charging icon, we're ready to enter download mode. First, restart your Samsung device and wait for the Samsung logo to disappear. Once the Samsung logo disappears, quickly press and hold both volume up and volume down buttons at the same time. Just keep holding until you see a blue warning screen. Now on the blue screen, press and hold the volume up button to continue. Next, you'll see a message asking if you want to unlock the bootloader. Now just press volume up button once to unlock the bootloader. Once you confirm, your device will automatically wipe all data and the bootloader will be unlocked. After that, your phone will reboot on its own. You'll now see a warning message at startup saying the bootloader is unlocked. Don't worry, this is normal. Your phone will still boot up just fine and you can continue using it like before. So wait for the setup screen. Alright, we are booted into setup screen. Let me quickly set up the device. So the device has now booted up. Let me open the settings and quickly re-enable developer options. Developer option is enabled. Let's open it. Now, as you can see, the OEM unlocking option is missing and that's actually expected. To make it appear, just connect your device to Wi-Fi or mobile data. So let me quickly connect it to Wi-Fi. All right, let's open developer options again. And yes, as you can see, it says bootloader already unlocked. That means we've successfully unlocked the bootloader of our Samsung device. That's it. You've now unlocked the bootloader of any Samsung device without using a PC or computer. 
If you found this guide helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more tutorials like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.